Alrighty then, let's get started on the second lesson of uh, week one, term four, year 10, geography. Uh, so as you can guys see in the lesson plan, uh, our learning intention is to develop our understanding of environmental impacts and how the world is changing as a result of human activities. The success criteria is to identify environmental changes and consequences around the world and connect these changes to human activities throughout history. Um, what I didn't do in the last lesson which confused some of my year nines because we had a double period and they were like, oh, what do I do? Um, is I've put in the actual slide numbers. So hopefully that goes, uh, will help you guys specifically go to a point in the PowerPoint and know, okay, I'm doing this to this today. So you don't go too far or too little. Um, so read through the class slides, slides seven to 10 and complete the slide questions and activities. The sentence and activities are to be completed in your digital notebook and will require access to the documentary before the flood, available on ClickView. I'll put the ClickView link there. Um, video lecture, that little point there is where I'll put the YouTube link uh, for the video that I'm recording. Uh, if you have questions, please let me know. About the digital notebook, I have had a few students ask me, um, surprisingly, um, I would rather handwrite my notes, Mrs. Happily. Is that acceptable? That is absolutely acceptable. What I recommend to those students is um, keep using the digital notebook file, the Google Doc that I've got in Google Classrooms. So keep using Classwork. Do, 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 do. Student notebook. Keep using that file, but instead of typing in you know, the questions and the notes that you're taking, I forgot I did that. <laughs> that was my last lesson. Uh, instead of doing that, you can just control V, upload a photo of your notes that you're writing at home. And if you're looking for something to help you take better photos and better notes, because I had my sevens do a um, handwritten essay last week of term one, and some of them have got shocking handwriting. Some of you have shocking handwriting. Um, Mr. McGuire put up this post in Compass News Feed, um, and it's got a quick two minute little video uh, showing you how to use a program and app for an Android and for an iPhone phone. Really straightforward, I can do it. You just take a photo, instead of using the camera to use the app, and it's, it's just better at like text recognition. It means you can actually read the notes in your photo. So if you'd rather do handwritten notes, I recommend using these programs there, smashing a photo into your student notebook. Cool, so let's go to slide seven, smash that open. There's our learning intention and our success criteria. The environment, our whole world. So our world and our life depends on the health of the environment. The environment provides food, light, water, and air to all living organisms. Those are all things that we need to live, <laughs> to be happy and healthy. Um, the ecological services. So ecological, think of it as another word for environment. So eco, the environment, ecological services. So the services, the things that they provide us, the environment provides us with uh, natural resources, such as coal, iron, timber, foods, basically anything that grows out of the ground. Uh, they provide us with services that regulate the earth. So they absorb waste. So we have tiny little microorganisms in the ocean that can actually break down oil spills, which is good. Uh, we have you know tiny little organisms in the dirt that eat up harmful uh, chemicals that eat up harmful little particles so that the soil is healthy so we can grow food in it so that we can then eat the food. Um, and we have support services like the forests absorbing CO2 and producing oxygen. So the environment does all these things for us. These are called ecological services. Important little thing, our environment. But human activities can damage the environment to such an extent that the ecological services we rely upon can be threatened, diminished, or even eliminated. Pop quiz trivia. This right here is a reference to a song. See if you guys can get the song. Anyway, um, this is now happening around the world as our fragile global ecosystem is impacted by human phenomenon such as pollution, exploitation of resources. Uh, exploitation is, so if I take a cup of water out of the river, I'm using that natural resource. That's all cool, all G. If I take the whole bloody river, <laughs> I am exploiting it. I am taking advantage of it. I am ruining that resource for everyone else and for the resource. Deforestation, so uh, cutting down forests, and then climate change, of course. Um, this human impact can be observed in the documentary before the flood. Boop. 
So use the link below to view the documentary Before the Flood, investigating the causes and consequences of climate change. You can just click on that link there. Um, it'll ask you to log into your school email to get into click view. Um, and if you're having trouble, you can just literally go click view and then before the flood, you'll be able to find it. And then you'll be completing these questions in your digital notebook after viewing the film. So the film I think is 90 minutes. So you can either do these questions while you're watching the film or you can do these questions uh, after the film. And this is going to be a full double period. So 10A, you'll be doing this period four on Thursday and you'll be doing it period five on Friday. Nice easy way to end your Friday, watching a video. Uh, and 10C, you'll be doing this period three, four on Friday. This is double periods worth of lessons. I'll just um, remind people of that in the lesson plan. I'm just saying it now. This video is obviously 90 minutes. It's gonna be a double period. I'm not expecting you guys to watch this in your free time. So the questions you're looking at uh, while watching the film or after the film are, question one, what environmental changes are occurring in the world? So how is the environment changing? Um, question two, what human activities are contributing to these changes? So if question one is, I don't know, one of the options you could put for question one might be climate change. Human activities contributing to these changes. So what is the cause of climate change? Uh, question 3A, what are the consequences of these changes? What is the impact on the environment? So if question one is, well, climate change. Question two, we're doing this, this, and this, and that's causing climate change. Question three is, well, what are the consequences? What does climate change actually do? Um, and then question 3b, what are the short-term and long-term effects of these changes on human life? So 3a is focused on the environment. 3b would be focused on human life. How is human life changing as a result of these environmental changes? So I mentioned in the last lesson about worldviews that some people are ego or anthropocentric, which is a focus on humans. So some people will see climate change as a good thing, or they won't really care about it. They'll be like, yeah, temperature's getting hotter, but humans are making that money, making that paper, so I don't really care. So what are these changes on human life, specifically? I'll just show you guys where the doco is. So I've logged on to ClickView already. I've clicked on the link there, same as the one in the PowerPoint, before the flood there, 90-minute doco. Um, it's interesting. <laughs> I'm not going to give you guys a really dry 90-minute lecture to watch. Um, it's got Mrs. Apley's celebrity doppelganger, Leonardo DiCaprio, so that's exciting. Compare the pair. I should get a photo, put one up right next to me. Or I should put one in the thumbnail, and you guys have to tell if it's Mrs. Apley or Leo. Anyway, um, so it's 90 minutes. It talks about climate change. It talks about other things that are happening around the world. Uh, it's a couple of years old, so it's a bit out of date. So talking to President Barack Obama instead of Trump. <laughs> uh, but yeah, go watch the doco over the course of the next two periods. Answer these questions in your digital notebook. And if you have any questions about the questions, or if you have any questions about how to use Google Classroom, where to find your student notebook, um, where I'm uploading the lesson plans to in Compass, please let me know. And uh, yeah, good luck, guys. Cheers.